Welcome back. We're still discussing the Lagos State Health Awareness Programs in Corbin and Cities. Dr. Oshinawa, we'd like to hear from you. Besides what Dr. Lunge had just mentioned, we also have screening programs that we conduct. That's good. One of which is what we call the Wellness Health Week. It's a screening program where we screen for hypertension wow. and diabetes. That's great. As well as cancers mm. and the populace that come to our health centers during the period, the week-long program mm. to do the health screening. All for free? All for free. Wow. So wow. like I mentioned, we screen for hypertension, we screen for diabetes, and we screen for cancer of the breast, cancer of the cervix, and cancer of the prostate in men. Wow. Let's hear from Mrs. George. Yeah, thank you. Some of the programs that we have in the ministry, you know, towards uh, the control of NCDs, actually, we have this uh, anti-smoking awareness campaign. Because uh, we know that uh, smoking ha is also one of the, you know, habits, mm. you know, that has been indicted in the development of uh, non-communicable uh, diseases. So we actually have something in the pipeline where we work with school children, particularly so that they do not, you know, take up smoking. And then we also help those who have, you know, taken up smoking to actually, you know, mm. come off it. Because being a habit is not really to come off it. Mm. So we have that also in the ministry. They, we also have the mental health and the motor park initiative oh, and so great. on. We are the, yes, we are, you know, we go to the motor parks, you know, mm. we talk to the drivers, That's you know, good. and those people who use, those stakeholders in that, um, in that sector so that at least they go off um, uh, smoking, you know, drinking, you know, and so on. And so, you know, while the, the director was talking, he mentioned RC as one of the non-communicable diseases. Mm. And we actually have, you know, quite a percentage of people, you know, named, you know, from a road you know, traffic accidents. So we also look at that. I, I think that is also under the mental health initiative. You know, that is where we have that motor park uh, safety mm -hmm. in the initiative also. We also work on sickle cell. It's also another area mm -hmm. that we also work, you know, that we do screening, particularly for school children, That's you know, good. and so on, so that they can know their status mm -hmm. and make informed decision, particularly when, do, when they want to get married, so that they don't marry you know, people of the same traits and then come down with um, uh, children who have, uh, you know, sickle cell disease. And I think uh, lately we've also started working on um, uh, liver, on, on, on can mm. cancer of the liver, you know, That's liver good. cirrhosis and so on and so forth, you know, as hepatitis. So we are doing something also in hepatitis, which has also just started. So I think mm. so these are some of the programs wow. that we have. Wow, wow, wow. Now, we need to applaud the Lagos State Governor, Mr. Babatunde Radifashola, and of course, the Honorable Commissioner for Health, Dr. Olajide Idris. You're doing fantastically well. Hmm. Now, before Dr. Oshino takes a final word, I'm sure we have one or two people in the studio with questions. Anybody, please signify. Okay, can we have your question, please? My name is Akinla Taiwo from Lagos State College of Health Technology, environmental student. My question goes thus, how can I personally manage stress? Because I don't know how the following day's work will be after today's work. So, and so how can he manage stress? Mrs. George. <laughs> yeah, for, for a student, well, for everybody, I think let us just look at you know, stress generally and how to manage it. I think first thing is that um, uh, we need to plan our lives. Okay. We need to plan. You need to set attainable targets. You are going to work. You know the type of work that you do. As an individual, given your unique characteristics, how, what can I do? Don't set out to do things that you don't have the wherewithal to do. That is, those are things that bring about you know, the stress that you are talking about. Mm. We spoke also about Lagos. Take enough, take enough rest, it's important. Taking your adequate six hours you know, sleep mm. is important. It's part of reducing stress. Mm. Have your, your, your social life should also be there. It's not as if you should go partying and so on, but take time to relax your brain. Do some exercises you can, you know, those are local, I always give people that recipe. You know, those are you, 
that thing that we play, the, oh, you know, okay. you can play games, Ludo, you know, all those games are there for you to play during your time. While in the office, you can break your time also. You are supposed to have uh, your siesta. If you, if you can't have siesta, there is a time that you can go for break. Mm -hmm. You know, break in the office, leave the job for some time, relax your brain, and then come back to it after you have, you know, gone here and there, and then you play, and then you come back to your work. But most importantly, you must, you know, rest, you must do exercise. Don't do all work and work and work and work and work and, you know, don't turn your house into, you know, into just a, a factory where you just keep on working and working. Resting is, you know, very, very critical. Have time for everything. Plan your life and make sure that you rest when, and you sleep. Sleep is very, very important. Many of us don't sleep because by the time you're on bed, because you do things late into night. Don't work late into night. If you work late into night, it doesn't allow your brain to rest. So sometimes even when you want to sleep, you cannot even sleep well. So don't work late. Make sure you have eaten at about 6 p.m. so that you can eat. Make sure you're, wherever you're going to sleep is very airy so that by the time you wake up the, the following morning, your brain you be know, will, be, will be fresh. You know, don't do you know, big things when you are going to sleep. Don't eat fat. You don't, you don't, you don't need a big meal you know, when you are going to sleep. So if you do all this, by the time you wake up with six hours sleep, you will be, you know, you will be rejuvenated. You feel good and you can take off. Thank you I so much. You Thank somewhere. you, Ma. <laughs> it's time to have Dr. Shinawa's final word. Yes. NCDs, as well as has, has been mentioned, are, are diseases that we can actually, if we do have a family history, prevent the delay or even prevent it from coming on us. If we follow what it is that we have mentioned earlier, lifestyle modification, you take time to rest, you take time to exercise, and you make sure you go for routine health screening as much as possible and take advantage of all the free health programs the Lagos State Government is actually doing. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you so much. <laughs> now it's time to bring on set as celebrity. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm so pleased to have on set today a renowned musician, Mr. Muiwa Oshinuga. Popularly called Numalos. You're welcome. Thank you. Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Dr. Longe, how can the healthcare system be strengthened to aid NCD prevention? Well, as a system, we need uh, adequate data for oh. planning, for to guide policy formulation, to guide policy action, okay. to guide policy implementation. In that respect. Uh, we are making efforts to actually determine the real burden, state-specific burden. Mm, okay. uh, we are carrying out some surveys, especially in the area of hepatitis B and C, that is oh. currently ongoing. Oh. We are looking at the capabilities and capacities of health facilities and health care professionals to actually manage some of these NCDs with a view to knowing what the gaps are in an evidence-based manner. How many hospitals do we need to build? How many more uh, health workers? And what categories or cadres of health workers we need to employ? Mm, uh, right. All of this we are looking at. We are also strengthening, if Mohammed will not go to the mountain, many people will have said all of this, health education, and we still find it mm. that people still don't come and access these healthcare facilities. So mm. we are taking the mountain out to meet Mohammed. That way, we are more or less decentralizing access to health care facilities. By that I mean we are revitalizing the primary health care system. Great. And all of these uh, screening are actually being done for the common NCDs are being done at the primary health care system for early detection and if there are issues uh, they are referred to the health care facilities. Again, all these prevention, preventive method, measures that we have talked about, some will still fall through the cracks. Mm. Some will exercise, some will eat well, some will not stress themselves, but they will still come down with NCDs. Mm. Government is actually coming up with a system where they will have cutting edge diagnosis that can actually pick up uh, some of these NCDs. And if they are now picked up and confirmed, treatment is, uh, is now instituted. Um, to that extent, again, a policy, state specific policy on NCD is being drawn up and the, the finalization of which will be made public 
and also some other act, uh, actions on the part of Lagos State Government mm. to actually strengthen the health system to make sure that one, everybody knows about NCDs. Mm. NCD is prevented as much as possible, possible? Mm. and if along the line people still come down with NCDs, they are given prompt and qualitative treatment Thank that is comparable much. anywhere in the world. Thank you so much.